Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Tejas Network's uh, webinar on maximizing your investment in your existing 10 gig DWDM infrastructure by quickly upgrading to a 100 gig alien wavelength solution. My name is Alan Phillips, and I'll be doing our webinar today. We'll call it our workshop webinar, and I'm coming to you from the, uh, the uh, my little workshop here in Massachusetts, right? Um, and I'd like to bring you up to date on a way to introduce 100 gig into your network quickly and cost effectively. Uh, today's webinar will be about 20 minutes long. We'll be moving rather quickly through the, uh, the topic, the overall solution, et cetera. And then we'll move on to any questions that you may have. Right. Um, during this, you'll be on mute. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can put them in the, the uh, question section at the bottom of your screen or at the top, depending on where GoToMeeting put it for, or sorry, um, Zoom put it for you. And then we'll answer those at the end. So I'll start off here with a discussion about the, what the workshop entails. So we wanted to discuss how do you we cost effectively and quickly scale your existing DWDM network. With the changes in the infrastructure, the amount of bandwidth requirements, et cetera, um, ports going up to customers wanting like 100 meg, 150 meg, a gig services, especially now with the amount of work from home, um, the social distancing and the, the bandwidth topology changing so much in that you know, it's no longer go into the office and do everything from the office. It's more distributed throughout your access network, right? How do I scale up the core of my network from 10 gig inter transport to 100 gig transport? And one of the ways to do that is alien wavelength, right? So we'll describe what it is and how to use it, right? Um, and how to deploy an alien wavelength solution, right? What goes into it? Uh, you know, what tools do you need? What do you need to think about? And we'll just do a quick little summary after that. So Tejas Networks is uh, headquartered in Bangalore, India. We have a headquarters here in Dallas um, in the U.S., right? But we're in over 70 countries around the world. We have uh, 500,000 network elements deployed. And, you know, we consistently are capable and able to deliver fast 100 gig capabilities to your network, right? So I want to start off with a little bit of an analogy, right? As we're going through this bandwidth change, one of the things we often think about is like, how do we scale this up? What do we do? So I'm gonna use the analogy of, you know, improving the road infrastructure here to represent improving the network infrastructure. Right. One of the things you can do with a road that's a little bit rough is just, you know, patch things to keep things moving. So you can move around your bandwidth a little, add another 10 gig link here or there, right, get your transport going. But really, that's patchwork. It doesn't, you know, smooth things out for any significant amount of time. Uh, one of the other options to the right hand side is you could build a new road. That's, you know, say, hey, there's a lot of traffic here. Right? I really need to do something big. I'm going to build a big new road. Well, that new road is great. And it'll do, you, uh, do wonders for you. However, it takes a, quite a bit of time to plan. It's a lot of resources, a lot of movement. And you know, you're in a time period where things are more reactionary than usual. So the growth and the distribution is changing relatively quickly. And it'll change again after this current pandemic is over. So one of the ways to do that is actually go in and smooth the ride out, right? It's to take your existing infrastructure, right, and repave it, right? Lay down a new smoother infrastructure. It'll, it'll allow traffic to go faster. And it only takes a few people to do this. But with Alien Wavelength at 100 gig, you can get a 10 to 20 times increase in traffic flow just by doing this resurface, resurfacing. And the, and the great thing about it is because your layer zero, your amplifiers and everything of your existing DWDM network are already in place, 
you can just strap down 100 gig and go. So that's what this workshop is about today. We're gonna walk through some of this pieces, but the analogy is you don't have to patch and you don't have to build a new road. You can take what you have existing today and increase bandwidth quickly on it. So what is an alien wavelength? Well, relatively simply, it's taking an existing vendor's DWDM 10 gig shelf and all of their cloud in between, which is their, their optical muxes, the optical muxes you already have deployed, the amplifiers you already had deployed if necessary, and plugging in an alien or foreign wavelength to that DWDM system that's a standard ITU grid wavelength and running it over top of the network. And this requires taking a shelf, right, a set of optics and plugging it in. You don't have to touch any of your existing network. You don't have to change your muxes. You don't have to change your amplification. You don't have to remove your dispersion compensation modules. You can leave everything that's in place today and then scale up one section on it. So we can add wavelengths. If you want to add a 10 gig wavelength, that's great. But we, the purpose of this discussion is discussing how to add 100 gig and even 200 gig wavelengths if you're seeing that amount of growth. So why would you choose the Tejas Network's fast 100 gig or 200 gig alien wavelength? Well, fundamentally, you're looking to expand capacity fast. You want a 10 to 20 percent or times increase in bandwidth per wavelength without doing a new optical line system. So you can keep your folks in the CO, right, in you know not having them running all over your network, and just place in shelves where you need additional traffic running over your existing DWDM network, right? It's a few more people than patching and adding a, a, a existing 10 gig, but it's a lot less than building a new network, right? So you can expand that capacity fast. You want to be able to more bandwidth with less effort, right? So you don't have to change your routers. You don't have to change your switches, your OLTs. Anything in your network today, if they've got 10 gig interfaces, great. You don't have to dump everything up to 100 gig interfaces on your router or anywhere else in your network. And you can just put a MUX bonder in place, right? Takes in 10 gig, puts out 100 gig. You don't have to do long planning cycles to increase the bandwidth either. These are relatively short cycles. It requires information on what's existing in your network and how your existing network's set up. Um, a little bit of engineering that Tejas Networks will work with you on, and then deploying the system, right? So you also might want to use alien wavelength if you have 10 gig services today, but you say, I got to not only increase my bandwidth within my DWDM network, but I've also got to grow the router interfaces. So I'm going to put in a 100 gig router interface because I want to be in the next generation. Great. With a transponder in your DWDM system, you can run over your existing um, network at 100 gig or even 200 gig rates. Right. So it's a much faster deployment than building an entire new highway. Right. Um, there are better operational capabilities with um, the latest in hardware and in software so that you can move to newer technologies without having to like relearn a lot. So your amplifier chain stays the same, everything re represents in there is good, but just simply provisioning a service on a Tejas Networks product is a graphical interface, easy turn up, easy go. Right? And finally, you know, your existing DWDM vendor might just be too expensive or MDs. You wanna grow, but this, you didn't have the budget in for 2020. The changes in the world have driven your bandwidth through the roof and you wanna be able to do it, but you don't wanna blow your budget. So cost effectively, you know, putting in 100 gig lowers, you know, 10 times increase in bandwidth, but not a 10 times increase in price. Not even close. It's a a very cost-effective way means of doing things. So the Tejas Network's fast 100 gig and 200 gig solutions come in, in three shelf sizes, right? Uh, there's a two slot, 
right? A six slot and an 11 slot shelf, right? The two slot shelf is two rack units tall. The six slot shelf is four rack units tall and the 11 slot, slot shelf is nine rack units tall. So very compact form factors and can be easily slid into existing network structures and existing bays, right? And these systems can go over, you know, dark fiber or least fiber or least wavelength even. Um, but today we're gonna to talk, talk about it going over a third party optical line system, right? And using that existing line system, the existing amplifiers, existing mux, demuxes, et cetera, and just plugging in the wavelength from our 100 gig uh, optic. Right? Now, a number over the years, a number of people have talked about the technical challenges of doing alien wavelength. And yes, there were technical challenges 10, 12 years ago with doing this. There was a lot of disparity between vendors, DWD and vendors. But now with 100 gig coherent, you can remove the DCM dependencies. You've got uh, more than enough power and 100 gig optic that wasn't available a few years ago. All of this technology improvement can be put into the network relatively easy. But still, we have some existing vendors that allow that alien wavelength work on their systems. But so far, Tejas has deployed on seven different vendors around the world, right, and dozens of networks, right? And we've overcome a lot of these challenges around difficult to plan argument. Um, it's a relatively simple uh, planning methodology and Tejas Networks provides that service for you uh, here in the US, right, right along with the, you know, whatever you wanna do and say, okay, Tejas, here's the information and we'll plan the network for you. We overcame distance challenges. We have a 1500 kilometer network in place on over amplifiers, rotums, right? The wavelength is going 1500 kilometers without a region. And that's over top of another vendor's DWDM line system. So another vendor's muxes, another vendor's rotums, another vendor's amplifiers. And it's 1500 kilometers, right? We have the tool sets now and the understanding to, to educate you on the OSNR and linear Nonlinear challenges, we've overcome those. Um, you pretty much have to, to get 1,500 kilometers and we're very accurate with our planning tools right, on the OSNR level. So we know that the power levels um, are acceptable before you deploy. So you can come in, you can, we'll do the planning with you, right? We'll get that information to you and when you turn up your service, you know it's gonna be accurate, right? We also overcame guard band issues. Another, um, other people with alien wavelength, they like to have dead spaces in the wavelength plan so they can put this 100 gig in. Uh, we've actually deployed 100 gig in between two 10 gigs right on the same, right next to it. So adjacent channels, right? No guard band requirement. And all of this generates additional revenue for our customers. It's more efficient, right? It's moving to 100 gig, you can scale it um, your bandwidth requirements exceptionally quickly. Um, you can move your customers into a better um, uh, plan so they can have the bandwidth they need to do the school from home, the work from home, uh, the distributed computing that's required uh, these days in this environment. We do this with, uh, one of the things that I just talked about, sorry, was the um, planning tools. So Tejas Networks has an alien cloud simulator. <laughs> it's uh, all, all it really is is a tool that allows us to take your network as it exists today with your vendors, plan it out, right, relatively quickly and give you back the answers as to whether or not it'll work and how it'd have to be planned and then an equipment list to go with it, right? And we provide this analysis free of charge, right, to our uh, potential customers. So. It's not like you have to go through a lot of planning cycles, right? This is something that we will work with you on and we'll provide back design specifications and review those with you, right? So the two things that you look at is, and when you're doing this is, can I get it quickly? Can I get it cost effectively, right? And on the quick part of it is, you wanna have a, a vendor that provides you the services for deployment, 
So we'll do that network design review, that alien wavelength planning. We'll work up an implementation mop with you, right? We'll have a deployment consultant, consultant work with you. Uh, we can st stage the equipment if you want to and have it turned up so it's a much faster turn up for you. And we'll do the training for you, right? All of those are part of the white glove care package we offer in the US here, right? And it's included with all systems, you know, purchased up to September 30th of this year. So we're walking through bandwidth expansion that it will run over top of your existing network structure without changing your components in your the, the field, without you having to learn how to design and plan and implement this, right? So that you can focus on the extraordinary um, bandwidth growth that you're seeing in your networks and servicing your customers with you know, the changes in social distancing, slowing down some deployment models, getting out to customers has become more and more difficult. We can also provide, you know, direct engineering, like planning of a, the CO, installation capabilities and the commissioning and testing capabilities as well. Either through going to your site if you're allowing people into your offices or we'll do it smart hands remotely. Right? So we've had customers and we have a number of field cases. I picked one today that's uh, a rather long one over that we've done, which is the DWDM vendor, right? Um, at, with our customer was ADVA, right? And they had designed an 80 by 10 gig channels for the end of, end of life specifications for the network, right? So 57 of those channels were running at 10 gig. And as Tejas, we came in and we planned out the network with them, used their existing Rotoms, Raman amplifiers, normal amplifiers, and we turned up an alien wavelength that was over 820 kilometers long, right? And the tool estimated that we'd have 12 dB of OS and R, right? So, you know, decent power at the end of this so that it, it's a good, got a good long life on it. And when we deployed it, the yellow scenario was actually increased to 13.7. So we had better optical signal um, than the tool planning. So we know that we can deploy in almost any network. We've done it a significant number of times and quickly. So the, the solution recipe, the number of boxes you need to use for this is also very small. So let's say that you're doing 10 gig right now and you want to go to 100 gig, but you don't want to change any routers out. So it's how do I mux 10 gig into 100 gig? Well, fundamentally, there's only four pieces to the equation. Right? The first is to pick a shelf type. Uh, the second is to pick the mux bonder, the card, mux bonder or transponder. In this case, it was a mux bonder. And then your 10 gig optics of choice, SR, LX, ZX, DWDM even, if you wanted to. And then a 100 gig optic. We have one 100 gig optic type that's for all distances, right? And one optic type for all wavelengths. So it's a tunable optic on the 50 gigahertz channel that's good for 100 gig, right? And then all of these are pluggable. So this was what the entire kit would be for a site, right? And you can put, in this particular, you can put four uh, mux bonders or transponders into this shelf. So I wanted to take a second here um, to show you, right, and you can see on my screen here the, uh, the, uh, the little workshop that I have here. This is our uh, two rack unit shelf. It is designed for two cards, right, pluggable modules, right, easy to install, right, small and compact with power across the top, OAM control, and then two cards. This top card is our 10 gig to 100 gig mux bonder, and then the bottom card is a two by 100 gig transponder. This is our CFP, but a tunable coherent optic. Uh, it's up to 2,000 kilometers in range, right? Um, that just needs to be plugged into the shelf. It's a standard optic, right? And this is our, uh, you know, tunable or our SFPs. On this side is the six slot shelf that uses the same cards, same power components, 
redundant uh, shelf processors, and up to four slots, right? And over in the corner, we have the, uh, the larger nine rack unit shelf. Even that's not that big. And that'll do up to uh, 900 gig of MUX bonding or 1.8 terabits of transponders. So potential for growth in the future as well, right? Um, although all of these units can be run by our web GUI, just plug into the shelf and go, and a number of customers do that. We also have a network management system that covers it and other technologies. It's a graphical interface that's easy to learn, um, point and click. It'll do all the standard network management services, et cetera, and it's very cost effective for small deployments of even three or four nodes. And you know, finally, if we look at this and we say, hey, you know, that's great, Alan. We got this 100 gig up and working. We got or 200 gig if we want to do 200 gig. But at a certain point in time, I want to replace the older vendor that I have in my network. Well, we, of course, we have the, op the amplifiers to plug in, right, to replace on a link-by-link -link basis as network. We can give you new technologies like um, auto equalization and power balancing that allow you to turn up a wavelength faster so a next 100 gig would be even faster than the current one, right? Um, we can introduce rotoms into your network, um, optical performance monitoring so you can see if a signal degrades, and even OTDRs. So all of this can be introduced as an evolution path in the future. So it's not just 100 gig today, it's say, okay, I've got a vendor that I can grow with for the future as well. So in summary, um, our Tejas Network's fast 100 gig alien wavelength solution uses the latest technologies, will bring bandwidth and cost per bit points in your network that are you know, exactly what you need today in the fast growth, but you know, unfortunately might look like a recession type economy, so you wanna be cost effective yet grow, right? And we've got proven deployments that can get that out into your network. And as Tejas Networks, we really want to be your partner in doing this, so we'll provide you a lot of the functionality, a lot of the intelligence, so you can focus on running your existing network while we help you expand your network, right? So with that, I am going to uh, thank everybody.